All matter is made up of many, many tiny atoms. Every atom contains both positive and negative charges. The positive charges are carried by protons in the nucleus of the atom, and the negative charge is carried by the electrons outside the nucleus. Professor, it'd be nice to see this, but we can't see atoms, can we? That's right. They're far too small to see. But on the other hand, we can see what they do to other things. In this experiment, it's called Brownian motion because it was discovered by a man called Brown. In this experiment, we're going to see little dust particles. Dust particles are big enough that you can see them with a microscope, but small enough that when the atoms of the air bump into them on each side, the dust particles sort of jiggle around. So we're going to see them moving around, almost as if they were alive. How do we do it? Well, uh, first of all, we'll take a bit of paper towel and burn it. We'll put it in a jar here and burn it. And that'll make some smoke, which consists mostly of tiny little particles of carbon. And then we're going to blow the smoke through this tube here and into this tiny glass chamber underneath the microscope. Mm -hmm. We've got a laser here that illuminates them. So then when you look down the microscope, you'll see the dust particles jiggling around, almost as if they were little fishes swimming around in a pond. But what you're seeing is the atom buffeting them and making them move. So we'll get that burning nicely. Make some smoke. Good. Okay, now we can put on the top. Doesn't take a lot of smoke. Though. No. Okay. And then squeeze here and we should have some smoke coming out the other end in a moment. Good, there it is. And now we'll clamp down there. And then if you'd like to look down the microscope, Larry, you'll see Brownian motion. They're just jiggling, aren't they? It's important to realize that what you're seeing there is not atoms. You're seeing little dust particles, smoke particles. But they're so small that when they're bumped into by atoms, that causes them to move around. 